In this video, I'm going to link a map component to a chart component in Crystal Excelsius to have them interact with each other. And what you're looking at here is the Excel model that I'm going to use to do this. And the reason I want to show you this is because I want to show you how this is going to work in the background before we get started. In this Excel model, I've got two sections. One section is the data table. The data table is nothing more than a list of states going down with data for each state. And let's say that this is four years worth of revenue data. The second section is a section in yellow that is essentially blank cells. Now the reason it's in yellow is because these are special cells. I've marked them in yellow because these are going to be linked back to our chart. Now the idea is this. When I select a state in the map component, it's going to go through here and it's going to find the state that I picked. Let's say I picked Florida. And the map component is actually going to copy the particular data for the state that I've selected and it's going to paste it right into the section that I've got marked in yellow. And this is what's going to feed the chart. So as I select another state, let's say I select Georgia, it'll copy Georgia out and paste it in this yellow section, again changing the chart. That's essentially how it works. Now, don't get me wrong, this is all manual that I'm doing here. This is going to go in the background in runtime, so you won't see this action going on. You'll actually just see the interaction or the visualization on the front end. Okay, first thing I'll do is import my model. This is the model that I'm going to be working with. And when that model imports, I'm going to add two components. I'm going to add a map component, uh, US map, of course, and then I'm going to add a, uh, let's say, chart component, column chart. Okay, so now I'll configure this a little bit. I'm going to double click on the map so I can configure the map component. The first thing I'm going to do is assign region names. Now, what are region names? Region names are the codes that are going to tell the map component exactly which state you selected. If I click on the ellipsis button here, you're going to see the default names are two-letter state names. AL for Alabama, AZ for Arizona. The problem is in my data table, you've noticed that I'm not using AL, AZ, AR. I'm using the full name. So I'm going to have to actually tell Crystal Excelsius that I'm actually doing this. I can do that by clicking on the cell reference icon and literally just select the names of the states that I'm using. Now you can use anything. It doesn't have to be your, you know, a, f a full name or a particular code. It can be anything you want. As long as it's in alphabetical order, Crystal Excelsius will match it up with the correct state. So I'll press OK and now I've got a map, a good map. If I click on the ellipsis button, you'll notice that it now has the names that I'm actually using. Okay, so now that we have our region names set, go down here to the insert data section. Now insert option rows. This setting is actually good for us because our data that we want to output is row oriented. It's row oriented data. Basically we want a row of data to go to a certain location. And we've already talked about that at the beginning of the video. Source data. Source data is going to be the data that we're going to actually output. So essentially it's the data table. So select the whole data table and that is your source data. Okay, when you do that, you'll notice that your map actually starts filling in. Insert in is the particular cells where you want to deliver the data. Our particular situation, we want the cells delivered here in row 2, just like we explained at the beginning of the video. And that's pretty much it for right now. This map component is ready to go, so we'll close this out, and we'll focus in on the column chart. We're just going to link this to the, to the cells that are going to feed our chart, so double-click on this, go to data range cell icon or cell reference icon and select the particular cells that are going to feed our chart. The particular cells that are going to feed our chart are these cells 2002, 2003, 2004, and 2005 data. So press OK. Alright, so chart title. I'm going to change this chart title to a reference this particular cell and this cell is going to have the state name in it when the map component copies this out and pastes it up here. The state name will be right here in cell A2. I'm going to grab that for the column title or the chart title. I'm going to delete the subtitle. And that is pretty much it. Uh, let's do this. Let's come down here to the category access labels and make sure the labels are right here. 2002, 2003, 2004, and 2005. Press OK. OK. So I'm going to close this out. You'll notice here that there's nothing in here. There's no data in here. That's because there's no data in the actual Excel model yet, not until you hit a state. 
So let's go ahead and hit preview and let's test this out. So I'll click on Texas. You'll see Texas show up here, California, Florida. So it's working perfectly. So again, when you click on a state in a map component, the map component actually tries to find that state's data in the data table that you have. If it does, it copies it out and places it into the particular cells that you've identified. At the same time, the cells that you've identified are linked to the column chart. That's basically how it works.